Hello, friends. It's old Uncle Larry coming at you. Mm. I've had too much coffee this morning. My hands are all shaky. Look. Oh, caffeine buzz. Anyway, uh, hope every everybody's doing good out there. Um, I got a couple things to tell you. Let's see. Um, first off, uh, my little solo record that I made uh, is coming out Friday, October 28th, right before Halloween. Super excited. Got all the artwork done, and my dear friend Styx McHugh, who produced the record, was kind enough to kick it through the uprights, all the extra work you got to do to like post it up on Bandcamp and all that. So it's going to be available on Bandcamp and I'll put the link up there for you. But you know, there's going to be two versions of the album. There's going to be, like I told you, there's going to be me playing all the solos and then I'm also going to do a play along version where you can play all the solos. Just the beds will be there. And then, um, you know, I never asked you guys for anything. I, I suggested maybe you donate to the farmland thing, which, which you know, sadly didn't work out. I've heard that they're closed now, and um, but we tried, right? But I never asked you to subscribe or hit like or any of that shit, you know. Uh, but all I ask is that you don't pirate the thing, okay? Because here's here's the reason why. I mean, you guys are all smart enough to figure out how to get it for free, I'm sure, but. Uh, it's expensive to make a record, man. And um, I, I'm not trying to make any money on this deal. I just want to be able to make another one, you know? I mean, it, it cost me 10 grand just to get the thing mixed, you know? So, um, you know, just, you know, if you want it, please just buy it. That's all I ask, man. I mean, hell, that's that's probably a lot to ask in this day and age, you know? <laughs> 38 Bone, man. Crazy guitar. Fun to play the old bluegrass style on, you know. Not that I can do it. Oh, man, what else? There's other things, too, I wanted to tell you. Uh, I've been crazy busy lately. Just, uh, I'm looking ahead at my schedule. It's like 2005 again. Uh, back when I was doing six, seven days a week at sessions. It's crazy. I still do my schedule the old fashioned way. I write it out on a piece of paper. I don't use any kind of digital schedule storage. I just don't trust it. That's how old school Uncle Larry is, you know. But I'm going today, I'm going into Blackbird studio with my dear friend Johnny McBride and we're gonna make a video for Blackbird, for their school. I'm gonna have a crew of people there filming your Uncle Larry and building a track from the from the beginning and uh, whatever advice that I could give along the way about how to, you know, stack parts, you know, I'll give it and that'll all be available down the road in Johnny's Blackbird thing. I'll let you know about that too. If you give a damn, Oh, uh, what else is going on? Um, uh, I think that's it for now. I'm loving this fall weather. I hope you guys are too. It's amazing. I mean, I live for this time of year as I've told you many times. And uh, we had a fun trip to Seattle with, with Ann Wilson. We were out there for 10 days rocking at this place called the Neptune, which is a really cool old theater. We did like three nights up there. And um, the one night, the second of the three nights we played, Roger Fisher got up and jammed with us, man. The video the video is actually available on YouTube. What a cool guy, man. I mean, the guy that came up with all those cool heart guitar parts, you know. He was very cool. Um definitely a legend, you know, and uh, we all hit it off. He liked our band, and we liked him. And it was cool to get him up there and play a song. And uh, I showed him some licks, you know, you know, taught him how to act on stage. You know, no, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. I'm joking. Um, that's it. So, hey, Raj, if you're watching, we're buddies now, right? Uh, what else? Oh, and also, thanks so much for all the Trip to Witch uh, comments you guys have been... I mean, Dean and I are thrilled with the response that we're getting from the record, man. You guys are so cool about that. Everyone seems to really like it. We're working on trying to get the merch together. And um, 
Man, I would love to get a trip to Winners t-shirt myself. The vinyl thing is is sadly not going to happen, I don't think, because uh, for my, I wanted to, I had the, the, the layouts and everything to do vinyl for, for my record, but man, everything is backed up so far on these uh, vinyl printing places. They just are backed up till like mid next year. And it's, it's sad because I really wanted to make, you know, the album on, available in vinyl, but it's going to have to be digital, which is disappointing. But I, one last thought before I split here, I got this crazy idea brewing. And it's not totally form formulated yet in my brain, but you know how my brain works. It's very weird. Um, I'm thinking that when we release this album Friday, um, it would be a good opportunity to do another contest. Remember how we used to do contests back in the old days on the homeschooling show? Although I swore I'd never do another contest because it's so much work for Uncle Larry to have to weed through everything. Uh, I think it'd be fun to do a contest where, like, take the Play Along album and play along with one of the tunes of your choice. And whoever does the most awesome job would get, I'm thinking, I am not haven't got this totally sorted yet, but a nice guitar and amp package, right? Be cool. I think my dear friend uh, Nathan at Duesenberg would... He seems to be uh, willing to play along with my little game here. And I think my friend uh, Ebo, who makes amazing amps and reverbs, is willing to play along too. But this all hasn't been cemented, so don't hold me to this. But I think it's going to happen like that. And if it changes, it changes. So, But it's going to be cool. Um, that doesn't sound like a fun idea. Another contest. Oh, man. I swore I'd never do another one. But yeah, I think it's cool. All right. What else? It's a cool chord. Think of that as an F add nine, major seven over A. What would you call that out of the key of A? Think. If A was your root, it'd be weird, but it would be like a A minor seven sharp five, right? It's an F chord, though. Okay, take care, guys. I'll talk to you soon. Okay, bye bye.